Dr. Rana Basarat Khan. Asalaamu Alaikum and thank you to giving me opportunity to speak on a woman day. I want to remind you the two women from Islam who stood up almost 615, almost 12 years ago, 1200 years ago, against the unjust exercise, against the right for a woman. I will call the first name Sumayya. She was the first Muslim woman who was killed just because she wants to spend her life and she wants to speak against the injustice was happening in Mecca. She was a, she converted to the Islam and uh, that time the people was Mecca was not happy about her decision and they killed her. She was a black lady and she was the first woman or she was the first person who become the murder by the Mecca people. So I will uh, call her that she was a woman advocate almost a century ago. And the second woman, the wife of the Prophet Muhammad, Bibi Khatija. She was a businessman and she was the well-spoken and she was an independent lady. That was a not normal exercise during that period. I'm talking about more than uh, you can call 900, um, 1400 years ago. So she uh, break all the law of Mecca and uh, that for, for local tribe. And she proposed herself to our prophet that she want to marry with him so it was not a normal exercise so just to remind you that islam gave the independence and the voice for the woman almost 14 years ago 1400 years ago which is recognized in almost less than a century ago by the united nation or uh, you can call modern world. We get vote right in a Susan land just less than 30, 40 years ago. So let's speak about the problem. I am right now, I was in a United Nations conference and we have a human rights conference going on um, more than a week now so it will be end end of next month on the end of this month i will speak on many occasion about the women rights but i just want to remind we all are talking about the modern uh, day uh, women rights but still i want to tell you there is more than two million women they are spending their life as a modern day slavery almost every day more than a 50 or 60 teenage teenage girls are pushing in a sex trafficking from the Myanmar and Bangladesh camps plenty of women there is 156,000 women just in 2020 forced to go in a sex trade sex trade from these conflict areas syria iraq bangladesh bangladesh refugees camp yemen and these kind of all kind of countries but what we are doing what the united nation is doing what is the reason why women still suffering in this sex tr uh, trade why 
every whenever war happen the main victim are the women and the children and especially the young girls they are forced to go on these kind of uh, exercise china india maldives even the modern day you can call the south korea they are top 5 countries where uh, women are forced to go in a sex a slave slavery we need to see how we can get uh, as i mean right now in the united uh, uk mostly people from around the world i have a afternoon some somewhere will be the evening or morning we can speak multiple multiple language just this uh, because of this zoom because of this latest technology the same meeting which we used to done in somewhere on a national platform spent millions of dollar to collect 20 20 speaker and 100 audience no we will get free after this zoom meeting this will go on a social media you all will be share i am live and oh, i don't know how many people will live to listen this let's give them a message to our listener we all know the problem forget about discussing the problem we know we 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 are we are grown adult we all are in our organization we all are linked with the local news we have a same knowledge or might be the less knowledge from the normal people who is buying food from the street right now from any supermarket but the difference between them and us it should be for a solution we don't want to waste our time like these kind of meeting we we we, we give a big speeches we tell the problem we tell the uh, situation we tell the oh no we need to come on the when we finish this meeting i need to reward from my time and from your time that yes today in this meeting we decide we will stand against the sex trafficking for a women's next meeting we will bring the agenda we will bring the road map if someone taking notes mariam or anyone let's design the road map i am in a united nation i am available to give you the floor in united nation geneva vienna tokyo or even usa let's push let's start pushing them who can make this difference we all sitting in our bedroom and our sitting room and our dining table or listening in a cars i will tell you it will waste when this zoom meeting will be finish i will end up going in somewhere else enjoying other things in next 30 20 minute or next two or three days might be i will totally forget what i said or what i listen this is happening i'm a 50 i'm a 44 years old i start my politics when i was 13 years old i spent almost 30 years of my politics uh, life just in a politics doing nothing else i know you all are wonderful people i want to learn from you i want you to raise the question again again like who the john carry was doing if i'm not uh, pronouncing wrong let's start the for solution stop discussing the problem we all know the problem problem is a one google away uh, 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 someone was uh, try to tell the who was the first lead person who bring the woman day on a united nation i just google it i found it i was i was taking notes how many girls are in throw in a sex trade in last one year google just tell me now one single tip away it it is it is mentioned on my notice book we all know the problem let's come for a solution we all are blessed people why we are blessed first we have a voice to raise second we have a feeling for these people who are voiceless imagine if you are sitting right now in a uh, i don't want wish this but let's imagine yourself put yourself with your six year daughter or seven year daughter you are in a camp in a myanmar camp in a bangladesh and you are may only surviving you want to survive for your life you don't have any option to live a life you don't have a food 
you don't have a clothes, you don't have a toilet, you don't have nothing. Yes. Right? Then someone will come. Just just give me two minutes. And someone will come. Just give you two hundred dollar, three hundred dollar, and walk away with your six year six year daughter, six year old daughter for an entire his, her life in a sex trade. Let's try to stop this. I don't want to tell you that we will stop this. We are not a government. You have to understand first. Let's let's start. I will give you the option first. We are not a government. You have to understand. We are. We don't have a power. But what we have, we have. A, we can struggle. We can raise a voice for this issue. There is plenty. You can pick up any issue for the women. You can pick up any, any, any step, any, 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 any table to discuss. But let's do something practical. These kind of conference is is great. I, I just want to say thank you, Dr. Tamara and all the host. This is great opportunity. Let's be a practical. We have internet. From your internet, do everything what you can do. I can tell you this internet is a biggest power than atom uh, than atom bomb, nuclear power. You have a you have a nuclear power in your hand. You can make everything. You look at what happened in Black Lives Matters. Um, look at what happened in a uh, Middle East, just because of the internet, just because of the social media, they bring the change. The government was destroyed, which was uh, uh, occupied by the many many years. Kingdom was finished. Ruler who was from the army was dictator was end up just because of the social media power. Let's use this. I will. I want to. Please, I beg you because I seen these problems. I've been in a Syria, I've been in a Yemen, I've been in a Iraq, I've been in a, uh, uh, Burma, Myanmar. I, I feel the pain. I don't want to cry. I don't want to tell you how bad they are. You are lucky right now. You don't have a problem. You don't have a, you don't have to upset about your six or seven year daughter. Imagine people who are suffering daily for their self-respect, for their life, for their for they, they can't take independent we we are living in 21st century but 20 yes. million Dr. 20, Rana. just last just last thing if if if, okay. if, I'm, if i'm taking your time i I, yes. I i will hang up here sorry i don't want to